Look at her! Okay, so hello everyone and welcome back to the channel with absolutely no theme. If you please would subscribe, that would mean the world to me. If you haven't already, if you're one of the 46 that are subscribed, thank you. As of right now, I have this amazing, I'm so happy to be in possession of this, uh, green on green variegated monstera and i think i need to give it a moss pull because it is extremely wobbly and i also just want to really check the roots and the moss is starting to dry up quite quickly and i can't really keep up with watering it and there's not enough roots uh in the soil bit to where if i start watering it so that the moss stays damp the roots that reach the soil starts to rot that happened with one of the big roots like this big root right here went all the way down here and it just there wasn't enough roots in the actual soil to pick up all the moisture there so it got really dark and i just snipped it off so i really want to check the other roots i know the lighting is terrible um and i know that uh there hasn't been basically any content on my youtube channel as of right now i'm dealing with a lot of health shit and i just kind of wanted to do something that makes me happy and makes me feel accomplished which filming a video and editing it and putting it up really makes me feel like accomplished and good about something and I really enjoy doing it so I also really really enjoy specifically with my plants uh, to be able to see progress like to look back at what they used to look like compared to now in these videos you can kind of see it but yeah I'm gonna just start by taking the roots out I love these pots by the way I keep it in here for the algae because I don't want none of that but I still want to be able to check the roots I really enjoy the process of like filming something and making a video and being able to maybe like years from now to look back and even just like months from now to check what my plants used to look like if it's a plant video what kind of makeup i use like what i did i enjoy personally those types of videos and i know the lying shit i know you can see this bitch should i turn that off okay is is that better yeah it's a little better not a lot but it's a little better i'm really trying to like keep it up uh because i don't want to look back and be like oh my god it was such a mess i'm gonna give it a pull i'm picking uh the smaller poles that i have because i don't think that this pot and it definitely doesn't need a bigger pot yet so i don't think that this pot can handle much more than that and still be stable and this is a large form Monstera, so the nodes are going to be really, really tight. So I actually don't think, maybe the leaves will get really big and out of hand, I don't know. But um, as of right now, I think that's going to probably last a good while because of the nodes, like they're stacked together. So I think it could actually last for a lot longer than... And I also thought of in this little bowl, I got this for half the price, they were on sale. I just thought it was really cute and I thought of making like a little arrangement of maybe some little Hoya cuttings that I have and some little alocasia bulbs. I don't know how long that will last because either my alocasias, all of them have thrived um, except for the really big one that I got that literally stayed here for a month and it got so bad root rot that it rotted the whole gigantic bulb like and those bulbs were like a like my hand and the whole thing was rotten i'm gonna try to empty this out that's that i'm gonna shut up i'm just gonna start to empty out i'm gonna put the moss in this little the little thing that's supposed to catch the water i love these pots by the way they're so beautiful i really wish i could keep it out like that but like i don't have any hydrogen peroxide to like do flushes with uh to keep the algae away i just feel like i need that first you know oh god do you see this the whole thing oh i have a feeling this is not going to be a fun time my little like a ball <laughs> to try to keep it upright when i just potted it when it was like it had one root with like tiny little side roots when i first got it as a cutting oh it's really in there I'm just gonna rest this over on a pot here and go in my trusty little Ikea spoon for like what, $5, not even? I think I paid like $1 for um, the total set and there was one and there was four of them in different colors. I don't think I can, <gasps> no, I pulled it off, fuck, damn it. 
Okay, I pulled it off. I feel really bad. That was actually a pretty thick root as well. Uh, it's stuck to the bottom, that's why. That's so sad, I didn't wanna do that, but okay. A lot of these roots are new as well. They look pretty fresh to here. And like mix it. Oh, I didn't pull off much of that root. That wasn't a lot. Okay, I feel a bit better now. I thought it was a gigantic root. It was a pretty thick root to be fair, but I thought I pulled off way more than I did. That's, that's, that's all right. Did I not have much orchid bark left when I potted this? Or what is this? I'm going to put more orchid bark into that. Just to fill up the mix and make it way more airy than it is now. And uh, not only just because of that, you just saw me put the orchid bark in, but also because the roots are used to mostly uh, a lot, like 80, like 90% of these roots. There's only these down here that are soil roots. Um, so I really want it to be really airy because these roots are used to having a lot of air um, throughout them. So I do not want this to be a dense mix and so lots and lots of oxygen can get down to those roots. I also want to kind of have some left, like some uh, mix left for the bowl that I was talking about before because I want that to be a really airy mix as well because obviously there's no draining chole in that one. Uh, obviously I'm going to put Lekka in the bottom but that doesn't always help everything, you know. I'm making this soil go a long way and I just have to, what's it called, fertilize a little bit more since there's not as much soil. Uh, it's, or it's not going to be as saturated with nutrients. But I usually fertilize a little bit anyway all year round just because I have grow lights. So most of my plants don't really change that much throughout summer or winter. They stay pretty much like the same-ish. They obviously do better and everything gets a little like leaves and everything gets a little bit bigger in summer but it still grows in the winter so I still fertilize when something is growing I still fertilize I also want to take cuttings off of this one I just saw it in the camera I'm just doing this so that the roots stay moist and also so that it's easier for me to release the moss that's a bit of rot right there this whole thing is broken off oh no this whole thing is broken off. It's probably now throughout me potting it. Dang it. I hate that. There was some rot here a little bit um, from before, like when I said from that root. And I am a little bit scared of this big one. I don't want it to rot. I really, really don't. But this one's looking great. Uh, this one's looking like it went down into the soil nicely. These were all good roots. I'm so sad. Incredibly annoying. Oh my god. <laughs> well, on the bright side, it didn't matter that I broke off the end of that root because the top of it was already gone. <laughs> Oh no, the pole. I completely forgot, I hate myself. Oh shit, ah, this is not going too well. Okay, um, I just tied it with a string that I had because the other uh, Velcro thing was too tiny. I'm gonna get it real velcro thing later on right now it looks like this it's been like this because it's been like shoved up against uh this in the way that i had it before so uh now it's got a little bit more support and i really hope that that root is gonna have a good time down there i don't know whether to water this like fully or whether to just spray like this across the corners that's what I feel like doing. I feel like that's going to be enough. There we go. Like, I just, I don't think 
we need to fully water it because it's converting from something that has a lot of air uh, to something that has less air. Obviously the soil is very airy, but it's used to moss. Like almost all the roots are moss roots. Like moss and that is probably the best. Like if you want to convert your roots to soil eventually, like moss is probably your best bet, but like just do it with a little bit of a cautious hand. This is devastating to me. I absolutely hate this. But it was broken off, so it was only gonna rot and I don't want that to spread, so I'd rather start over than let that spread and ruin the plant. I, before I started filming, I took this cutting of a Syngonium that I have, a Syngonium Wenlandii. And I kind of wanted to pot one of the cuttings, at least, into the little bowl that I had. Wherever I put it is, however, a mystery. I haven't moved. Oh my god, it's right below me. Into my little bowl. I kind of wanted to pot one of them, but I'm also not sure if it's going to survive, obviously. Um, so I think I might put two of them and then put... Uh, the top one into water so that this new leaf that's coming out can kind of unfurl and not just die off and rot because it's so sad when they do that. Um, and I feel like in water it's going to have the best chances to kind of flourish, if I may. It's got some aerial roots. All of these have aerial roots as well, so I'm just going to do that. I'm going to cut this top off. Well, you can kind of grasp what it is it's looking for me but uh, my camera uh, apparently loves me i was gonna say hates me but it keeps looking for me so i guess it's obsessed just cut these two into two different plants and i don't know how i'm gonna pot this i'm gonna have to hang it off the edge for now yeah i'm gonna have to hang both of these off the side i think so these are gonna be side pieces as you can see <laughs> that's so stupid but anyway I'm going to put a layer of Lekka at the bottom. I'm so scared of rot, you guys. <laughs> I've never experienced, like, crazy amounts of rot, ever, really. Till this, like, alocasia that I encountered recently. And I never want to smell that again. To be completely honest, I've had a little bit of rot, but never anything, like, devastating. <laughs> like, a plant has never died from rot up until this one. And there was just no saving it. Like, even the bulbs from it. I have one right now that hasn't just like molded or rotted away from me and I, I, I don't know what to do. I don't know how else to handle it but the way that I have. Anyway, I have some, what are these called? Philodendron micans and then I'm going to put the alocasia uh, because that way all the plants in there have kind of the same care conditions. Oh, I was going to do one of those as well. I don't know what these are. I have no clue what these are, what type of genus. This is Sunstress, by the way. The red stuff. Uh, but I'm going to put these down in here and hope that it doesn't look complete shit. <laughs> and I'm putting in this Alocasia Pink Dragon, I think it's called. And the Syngonium Winlandiais, two of them. And this little Hoya Eskimo cutting alongside with the Philodendron Mykins. And that's all gonna go in here. I have no clue if this is gonna look shit. But I just, I haven't done like an arrangement in a really long time. So I just kind of wanted to do one. So this is more like for my fun and entertainment. Cause it might go to shit and that's fine. It, it's allowed to. I also kind of really want another Hoya in there. Is that going to be too much? Probably, but like, that's me. So I'm going to collect uh, some other stuff because I want it to be really full and fun. And I feel like this is going to be quite scattered. This is probably going to take over because these tend to do well with me. I don't know why. I can show you uh, the mother plant of this and you'll see what I mean. 
I've shown you this before. I don't know if that video is going to come out after or before this, but we have a new leaf. This is not done growing yet. Uh, this is the old leaf that I'm incredibly proud of, which is the size of me. Um, and a lot of new tiny little plants around here at the bottom. These are some uh, good animals for like thrips and stuff. This is a new one uh, coming out here, down here. Uh, this is a new plant. This is a new plant. That's the same plant. Uh, these two are new plants on their own. And then these two right here are also their own plants. So there's just plants everywhere. Oh, and there's a little bulb just sticking out in the air. I This plant does really well with me and I'm so fucking proud of it. Look how big these are. Oh, I, I love this plant. I, when I first got this leaf, I was like, never again. It's never going to happen again. This is a one-time thing. I'm so incredibly happy. I'm grateful. And then this came. Oh, I'm, I'm so excited and just extremely grateful and happy about this. I've done well. Okay, I went and got a few things. I don't think I got that much more. I went and got these little Fetonia um, cuttings that I really, I really like the look of them. It won't really focus, but I'll, I'll give you some close-ups when I'm done with this. I got another Mikan's cutting, just a top cutting to just stick right into the soil and see what happens. I got a tiny bit of a cutting from a, a mountain palm, is that what you call it? I'll put it on the screen, it's a palm. Um, see what happens there, and then I have these weird I don't know what they are. If anybody wants to ID them down below, please, please do. I have no clue what these are. Add a tiny bit more liquor. I don't know when to stop when it comes to this. I never do. Uh, I don't know what's enough of like a water bottom. Um, I'm just gonna have to water this quite sparingly, but still not make it dry out. Cause all of these plants, I try to pick ones that doesn't love to dry out completely but can also handle if that happens, but just because I don't think that this is ever gonna dry out completely, completely, so I need some plants that can kind of handle that. The only one I'm really worried about is this alocasia, because I know they can be a bit finicky. Okay, I cut my head off just so that you can see what I'm doing. I've left this little stick that was in the soil up here to try to make it, I don't know, more draining? <laughs> or like get more air in there? I don't know if that's gonna work. And I'm just gonna, oh, I broke the thing. Oh, I don't want to hurt it. I really, really don't. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. I, to be completely honest, I'm just gonna plop this right down here. I'm not gonna touch it. Uh, I'm actually gonna move some of the soil away. Because I know that they're finicky about moving. They like to stay in their spots. Stay is the word. Stay, stay, stay. Actually, maybe, maybe I will finick around a little bit with the roots. Oh, it fell to its little root ball anyway. I'm going to remove some of the soil and blend it out with the soil that I had just now because it is so much more dense because of the raw issue that I talked about earlier like 3,000 times. I want it to be mostly bark and just a little bit of soil. I'm gonna leave the Leka uh, that that's stuck to uh, completely and just try to put these down as gently as I can while still like grouping them together. We're gonna put the micans in. Uh, God, the syngonium, sorry. Don't know if you can see what's going on here. I wanna still leave it some room to like fill in, but I don't know if I can to the extent that I would maybe want to. It's a wire cutting. It's gonna lay along the front, along the corner, because the corners also dry up quicker and a Hoya does not want to sit in water. So I'm gonna put it up against the corner, like really close to the corner. I also kinda want it to drape over if I can get it to do that. Do I put this in there? 
and just hope that it survives. I hope it's going to be fine. I really, really do. And then we're going to put these. I'm just going to stick them in there, but I'm going to fill out the thing a little bit more first. I didn't need to put those so close if I knew that it was going to be so open-ended. I'm not sure how I feel about it yet, but I also think that it needs to kind of grow and fill in until I can decide how I feel. These might die off, like these syngonium leaves. I'm kind of counting on the fact that they will. That's that. I'm done. I'm not sure about this. Uh, I'm going to give you a close-up. <laughs> this is the weirdest thing ever. This is so weird. Uh, I kind of love it, though. Uh, I'm going to give you a close-up of this, and I'm not going to water it like water water. I'm going to water at the back and around the corners. I'm going to water directly on the stem bit where I put cuttings that didn't have any roots. I'm going to spritz a tiny bit where the Hoya is. Like, not even a lot. Like, just a teeny tiny bit. And I'm going to put a little bit where that Mikan's cutting is. And then I'm going to give you a close-up. Because I don't want to overwater it just the first thing that I do, you know. I say, I start watering more. I just, I'm trying to feel the weight of it. It looks so weird. I love it. I'm going to go downstairs with this one as well. My green on green monstera. Really curious to see how this does. I'm going to fucking cry if this doesn't do well. Um, if this is all that this video is, um, I think it might be. Um, oh, I was going to take cuttings from this one. Mostly I kind of just want to show it to you. <sighs> because it is... Like, given I'm quite a small person, but it is wider than me. It is taller than my upper body. If you can see, <laughs> I'm sitting on a pillow as well. This is on the floor. It's flowering. It's flowered all summer from all angles. I don't know, even the angles that weren't facing the window. Last year, it dropped almost all of its lower leaves, as you can see down here, because uh, when the light disappeared in the winter. Right now, I'm supplementing it with about an hour each night uh, with a little bit of... I have a lamp that can kind of like twist around, so I twist around and face it towards this like maybe an hour a day extra. Um, and so far it hasn't started dropping leaves, but some of them are starting to look yellow so maybe I need more time, but it's a gigantic plant. I love this. I bought this probably about... it's a little over a year ago now, and I bought it as a tiny plant. Like it was probably this tall. And it had not even half the amount of stems that it has now, but it is just beautiful. Look at this tall stick in the middle. This started growing like at the beginning of summer, like I saw it peek up from the soil. And it's, it's just, it's a really sturdy stem, like it's a pretty thick stem at the bottom at least. It's like the thickest stem at the bottom. No, actually this is the thickest. Which one is this? Uh, it's this one. Is this one right here um, but yeah I think I want to take a little cutting from this because I have one cutting of this I've already taken a cutting that stem is right here it's actually rotted completely wait is that it I thought it was a rotted stem it's a stick that's holding it up I was gonna take a cutting but like I'm, I'm quite confused as to where to take it this one doesn't get much light under here so maybe I take that one I'm gonna take uh, a cutting from within this plant, um, I just really want to show you the beauty of her. She's so pretty and so, like, I see a lot of the, these and I feel really proud. I don't keep her in like a really bright window. I know a lot of people say these need like really bright and direct light. I keep her in a window that gets literally morning light, like it gets some morning sun and that's it. Look how 
full this is like it's so full and I just love it because I see a lot of this and they're really like tall kind of like this one at the top this one's quite tall and like wrangly but yeah I'm gonna take a cutting so I'm gonna put her right here I'm gonna get this one um, and I'm gonna cut her um, do you think she'll grow from that node? I think she might not but I'll keep my hopes up like I did with this one and I'll cut her right there. This is the cutting. Really nice. I'll show you another cutting that I took uh, that I really, really love. This is a really beautiful cutting. All the leaves are nice. There's a little crispy edge on one of the leaves right here, but except for that, absolutely no complaints. I'm going to actually take some nodes here. There's a lot of nodes. I don't know if you can see. There's a lot of nodes along here. I'm going to take three of them. There we go. And I'm going to put some of those in like moss and just see what happens. Which way was up? <laughs> that way was up. It just like flew away. I was confused. Uh, but this is really beautiful. And it's growing from like all angles as well. You can tell it's been like angled like this <laughs> towards the light. Because it grows out from under. Because there's such a big like leaf canopy you can almost say at the top see some of the leaves on the inside here is starting to you can't really see what I'm doing but they're starting to yellow a little bit which is sad but I'm gonna put this in water because it worked fine last time but I'm gonna show you the other cutting that I have and it was just this uh, these leaves are new this leaf is new at the back it was a I think this was the newest leaf at that point so it's had one, two, three, four, five, six new leaves, but it was just one stem going very like this, but it put out a new baby just like a month back and it's grown quite a lot. I don't know if you can see any of this and I'm really happy about it. Like I'm really attached to this little cutting. Look, like she's a floor plant. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god.